Hi guys, my name is Dmitry. I am test automation engineer and test automation instructor. I teach test automation with Selenium WebDriver, Java, Maven and TestNG. And my students, before they can start learning automating tests, need to install Java and Maven on their computers. In this video, I wanted to show how to install Java development kit on Windows 10 PC. The instructions for other versions of Windows will be similar, but not exactly the same. Before we start, let's open command prompt and make sure we do not have Java installed already. On Windows 10 it's really easy to open command prompt and there are a few ways to open it. But I will show you just one that should work for everyone. So, on your keyboard just press window button and R. This should open run window. And now we need to time the name of the software we want to open. So in our case it's gonna be CMD. And push OK button. When you done that you should see window like this opened. Now to verify if Java is already installed let's type next command. Java space dash version and push enter. So as you see I got Java is not recognized as internal or external command. This means either Java is not installed or is not properly set. So I do not have Java on my computer so let's download and install it. How to find Java that we need to download? Open our browser and in Google type next. Java SE downloads and execute Google search. So first item in our list is Oracle website and that's what we need. Java SE downloads on Oracle website. So let's open it. Now before we just go ahead and download latest Java JDK, let me explain something about Java versions. First of all, my students that want to learn test automation do not need latest Java. They can download Java 1.8 and everything will work. We do not use advanced Java methods in our testing to download the latest Java. Besides, the latest Java may not be supported by your IDE. For example, your Eclipse IDE that you use to write your code may be older than the latest Java version that you see here. So do not just download the latest Java version. Instead, scroll down and look for Java version that says LTS. LTS means long term support. So Java 11 will be supported by Oracle for a long time. As you see there is no Java 12 here, there is no Java 10, there is no Java 9. There is latest Java SE 13 and there is Java SE 11 and Java SE 8. Because Java 8 and Java 11 are long term support Java versions. So Oracle will support them for a long time. So what I recommend instead of downloading latest Java version download latest long term support Java version. And on the time of recording it's Java 11. So let's download Oracle JDK 11. So here we need to accept Oracle uh, rules and then select your operation system. So I am on Windows and I have Windows 64 version. Um, there are two options for me, .exe file and archive.zip. I will just download exe file. So Oracle wants me to sign in on or create account. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's create account. 
Here I filled some information, email address, password, um, first last name, for the job title I just put QA, uh, fake phone number, no company and stuff like that. You don't really need to put all your information here. And now let's just push create account. After this we need to open email from the Oracle and confirm creating our account. So here's I got email from Oracle, I will just click verify email address. Now let's go back to sign in page and sign in with our username and password. And Java 11 started downloading. So Java installation file is downloaded. Now let's click on it and start installation. Next, next. And close. Now Java is installed. Unless you changed where you wanted to install your Java, it should be installed on disk C, program files, Java, and then inside of the Java folder you will see your JDK folder. So let's open our JDK folder. Next step in the Java installation, we need to add path to the environment variables. So first let's open advanced system settings window. To open it on the keyboard push window R keys again. And here um, let's type S Y S D M dot C P L like this and push OK. This should open system properties window. Here let's switch to advanced and click on environment variables. Here in the environment variables we need to add our Java path to system variables. And before we add it to path let's create new variable and call it Java home. So click on new button and variable name gonna be java underscore home and for the variable value we need to copy path to our java jdk folder so let's go back to this window and and click inside of this field to copy our path to our jdk folder ctrl c to copy and here ctrl v to paste so we are creating new system variable, we calling it java home and the value gonna be C program files java jdk and push ok button. So now we have java home variable but next we need to add it to path variable. So let's select our path variable and push edit button. As we see there are already few variables here. So we need to add new. So let's click on new and here let's type next. So first because we are using already created Java home variable we just need to give a name of our variable wrapped by percentage sign. So percent then Java home underscore home another percentage sign so this means go and get java home variable but we do not need the location of the jdk folder instead we want to use this bin folder location so basically here after java home we just need to add another slash and bin just like this so java home wrapped in the percentage sign slash bin and push ok button here we also gonna push ok button and let's get let's go back and open our command prompt now if we push up arrow it will bring back the last command we executed but if we did not restart command prompt, java version command will still fail. But 
it's not because you did something wrong. We just need to restart command prompt. So let's close command prompt, window R, and here CMD to open new command prompt window. And now let's try again Java dash version. Enter. And now, as you see, Java version is 11.0.5. So, congratulations! You installed Java JDK on your Windows 10 PC.